Earlier this month, we reported on the cluster of kids here in Southern Nevada with rare and serious brain abscesses. Specialists with the CDC are investigating this cluster. And tonight, an update on what factors may have contributed to this spike and an increase in illnesses in general among kids since the pandemic. I haven't had as many cases so far in 2023, um, but I do know that other colleagues across the country are still seeing cases. Dr. Taryn Bragg is a pediatric neurosurgeon for Intermountain Primary Children's Hospital out of Utah and Sunrise Children's Hospital here in Las Vegas. I'm the only full-time board-certified pediatric neurosurgeon in the entire state. After March of 2022, Dr. Bragg noticed an alarming trend and notified SNHD. She was treating more kids for brain abscesses, pus-filled pockets of infection that spread into the brain. In my practice, uh, I have normally would see one to two patients a year. It's very unusual to see more than that, and 18 was quite extraordinary. Eight-year-old Carter Hayes is one of those 18 survivors. I was like in pain most of the time, and I, was, I couldn't move, so it was like hard for me to like get up and do stuff. After numerous brain surgeries, he is recovering. Dr. Bragg says the majority of the 18 cases were among middle school aged boys, kids with no underlying medical conditions. The experts looked at a number of factors, including common activities, exposure, travel, a history of COVID-19 infection, but they didn't find anything that linked the cases. Dr. Bragg says there are several theories as to why doctors may be seeing an increase in not only brain infections, but infections in general among kids since the pandemic. One of those theories is, is something called immunity debt, or perhaps because we were quarantined and masking that we developed um, a relative sense of uh, maybe immunosuppression or maybe that we just hadn't been exposed to those organisms and therefore they might be more aggressive at the time that we then encountered them. The other theory has to do with the fact that COVID numbers have declined. The other um, common pediatric viruses that we would see or illnesses that we would see are starting to increase. And therefore, this is just um, a spike related to the increase in those numbers that perhaps are higher because um, they're no longer competing with COVID as the primary source of infection. So I think they're both valid um, explanations uh, that could account for what we were seeing in these children. Dr. Bragg is hopeful the CDC can look into this cluster further. She wants to make sure there isn't anything that can be changed in terms of risk factors that would help decrease or mitigate the chance of kids developing brain infections. For more on this story and the particular symptoms Dr. Bragg wants parents to be aware of, go to our website, 8newsnow.com.